as we get ready for a start. Away we run in heat number five of the production sedans. Down into turn number one. And it's Robbie Treneman who leads them. But the official's not happy. And we've gone yellow. Front row needs to go together is the word from next door. So this is heat number five for these drivers. It's their final qualifying heat. Green lights come on, away we run. Robbie Treneman moves up half track high. And will he lead into turn number one? Well, he did. Uh, the 13 has gone underneath of him. That's True Ogle. Also there, the 31, the reverse of 13, which is Kane McDermott, moves into second place. So they come out of uh, three and four the first time. And our race leader is True Ogle. McDermott, Rose, then Leveston, Brody Day, and a uh, ill-handling count number 26 of Robbie Treneman is last of the six. Down the back straight they go. The 13 of Drew Ogle leads this one. Out of turn number three and four. Screws it down tight. Kane McDermott in second place. Right behind him. Back in third. 181 Barry Rose. 86 is next. Wayne Leveston. Brody Day. And then Robbie Treneman. And he's having a lonely race all of a sudden. He's back there in sixth. So down the back straight they run. 13, Drew Ogle, former state champion, leading the 31 of Kane McDermott, who's finished on the podium of a national title. And that was at Wigunia Speedway in New South Wales. Back in third place, 181, Barry Rose. I remember that title very well, a mammoth track. Uh, back in fourth, 86, Wayne Leveston. Fifth place, Brody Day. And last of the six is Robbie Treneman. So into the main straight, Drew Ogle still leads this one. 31. In second place, McDermott, Rose. Back in fourth is Wayne Leveston, Brody Day, and Robbie Treneman, last to the sixth. So they come out of Palmer's Corner, no change in the order as they move down the main straight, complete another lap, and still the status quo remains. A couple of cars didn't start this race including Shane Dublin and uh, Jamie Graham. So we've got one car around facing the traffic, which is Brodie Day. On come the yellows. And we have ourselves a stoppage. Going green this time around. So the official's not wasting any time in trying to get this program back on track. And Robbie Treneman to get behind Wayne Leveston, which he does. Set for the restart. And that's how it should be all the time, actually. If you can get him in line, get back underway. Don't want to see rolling laps, we want to see racing. And it's Ogle who leads from McDermott, Rose, Wayne Leveston. Robbie Treneman is up there in fifth and back to Brody Day at the tail. But it's the 13 and the 31 who uh, move down the back straight, not separated by much. And back in third place, Barry Rose. Watch out for his socials during the week. I'm sure he's got uh, some vision to show uh, of the racing tonight. He normally does. He's back there in third. Then 86, Wayne Leveston in fourth. And then in fifth place is Robbie Treneman, then Brody Day. So all of a sudden, uh, the 13 has got away, Drew Ogle. He's out by a few car lengths on uh, Robbie Tr uh, uh, Kane McDermott, who's come into the clutches of Barry Rose. The white flag is out. There's one to go. Then Leveston in fourth place. Fifth place, it is uh, the 26 of Treneman. And back at the tail is uh, Brody Day. It's on now for second place. Rose got underneath of Kane McDermott, but it won't be enough, I don't think. First home is going to be 
the 13 of True Ogle. McDermott is going to have to fight off Barry Rose, he does. Holt's on. Wayne Leveston, Robbie Treneman, and Brody Day.